Hello and welcome to the poor hair rep- <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Poor Hammer Podcast, episode 125. Eric, shut up. I'm doing the intro. This is probably staying in. I'm your host, Brad. This is my co-host who keeps laughing as I screw up the intro. Eric. How's it going? This is obviously a fun episode because it's starting fun. It started with us going to ramen and drinking. Now it will end in flames. <laughs> We're recording this early once again because the episode after this one is supposed to be very large. So we don't know what happened last week. I mean, we recorded this in a timely manner. I can't believe for the AOS launch they spoiled that the entirety of Grindelay's destruction was sent to Legends. And that rules are now digital and free. Oh, and don't forget about that cruel boys can deal 28 mortal wounds with a normal troop. That was wild. I just can't believe it. Truly a reveal for the ages. All right, but if our mood isn't enough of a warning, this is going to be our second attempt at coming up with crazy meme lists for factions in 10th edition. I can't believe you didn't go with my actual title. This title is stupid. This is censorship. Eric, read your title to the classroom. The title of this episode is More Effervescent Meme Enumeration Shenanigans or memes for short. You had to look up the word effervescent. I definitely had to figure out how to spell it. <laughs> I could barely say it. <laughs> I mean, I got that first take. So without any further derailments, let's get into this. Sounds good. All right, we've got six lists we're going through today, covering the five newest codices. We're not counting sisters or gene stealer cults because it's been like six months since we've done one of these episodes, so too many codices came out. So we're going to be covering Tau, Dark Angels, Orcs, CSM, a war crime. <laughs> All right, but okay, let's actually get into this. Let's start with Tau. All right, Eric, read me the name of the starting list I gave us. Ah, oh, this one. This one's called Tau Tanks. No, it's not. No, it's not because, all right, read it correctly. Tau Tanks. <laughs> Yes, that would be correct. So, as everyone knows, the part of Tal that everyone is here for is the ancient tank model and not the cool Gundams. Unfortunately, I couldn't fill a list with just tanks, so I got other fantastic, beautiful models to fill it out. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, I was going to do Tau list Tau where it's all crew, but I mean, that's not even a meme. That's one of four options you have this edition. Have fun. And it's also like there aren't really enough options of crew to like make it that interesting yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future. So to start us off, I needed an HQ so that we could have a warlord so that this would be a legal list. I could not just choose the same guy I would have last edition who is the tank guy, but a character. They legends Tim. So I'm going with the fire sight team, something that both Eric and I had to Google. <laughs> Google to make sure was what we thought it was and that it was legal and real and still existent. And all of these are sadly true. It is all true. It is still real. It is supported in 10th and GW still sells it. And it's fine cast. The rules on this model just make the most sense when you look at what the model actually is. It's a dude in three drones. And when you read the data sheet for this, you're like, but this is a dude. And then as you slowly realize that they turned the three drones into just three shots of a rifle yeah they're like reminder tokens <laughs> <laughs> That's what this guy is in 10th edition. I like, I don't hate it because it's so absurd. Congratulations for finding this because I did not know it was a real thing. <laughs> it was real easy. It was sitting right there in New Recruit. I'm like, who the hell are you? And I clicked on it and started reading and I'm like, is this that old sniper? Where are the drones? And then the rabbit hole ensued. Uh, it should be a perfect commander for tanks. Yes, a sniper with some drones. <laughs> <laughs> the list gets better, don't you worry. So we're starting this off right. Three hammerheads out the gate. Railguns, baby. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's honestly, it's a big cannon. Let's go. Then we've got three Skyray gunships, which is like the hammerhead. But instead of a giant cool railgun, you've got a coat hanger rack. <laughs> Yeah, when you were going through this list, I was asking a couple of like, okay, which one's which? Because everything's a, a shark or a, you know, whatever. And you're like, oh yeah, it's the one with the coat hanger on. <laughs> God damn, is that true? So we're out of the main tanks, sadly, and we have a lot of points left because Tau is cheap this edition to make up for how shitty they are. 
So then I added six piranhas because they're like small tanks. They're like really stupid looking. They don't even cover the people. <laughs> you can get a 3D print. My wife had my brother print off 3D prints to cover the piranha canopy so that you don't have to look at the little dweebs in there. But anyway. <laughs> the little dweebs. <laughs> six piranhas. And then we're moving into actual hell as we add four planes, two razor sharks and two sun sharks. Wonderful. I love aircraft and planes in 10th edition. Tau planes are definitely the aesthetic core of Tau. <laughs> It's not the Riptide or the Ghost Keel, as many would have you think. No, it's uh, a Skyray Gunship. That's absolutely the peak Tau. Skyray Gunship is the tank nope. here, not the plane. Yep. See, that's why it's hard. It is. I like This can just stay in, because this kind of proves the point of this whole fucking meme. The Tau vehicle names, who the fuck? They're all the same. Like, the only one I actually know is the Hammerhead. Because, like, one, it is kind of unique-ish, and it's got a big rail gun. So it's like, okay, cool. You always remember the guy with the biggest dick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, those, I'm gonna, well, I'll, let me take a stab at it again. How about that Sun Shark Bomber? Wow. That's an airplane, right? <laughs> That wasn't two minutes of derailment that probably made the final cut. So we had like 85 points left. And what better way to spend it than on a devil fish so that we get one more tank body in here. And we can be forced to put our fire sight team inside of it or it will blow up, therefore making them an even stupider pick because now their infiltrator loan out bullshit means nothing because we're just putting them in a devil fish. Yeah, it's uh, a great use of infiltrator loan op stealth, just like, you know, a super super sneaky sniper and you toss him in a devil fish and like you have to <laughs> i mean i guess you could just let it annihilate itself it's a 19 15 point list and fireworks <laughs> <laughs> and fireworks <laughs> That's about as good as a devil fish is going to get. I hate this list, and it's perfect. <laughs> All right, so Ta'al was pretty easy. How about you tell us what you did with the war crime? <laughs> All right, Brad, do you remember like a decade ago, or I guess probably a little bit more at this point, uh, in Magic with a really, really cool deck? Called Valakit? That did exist and was cool, but this one was better. Affinity. You're on the right track of nonsense. Not quite there yet, though. Too many creatures. Tin fins? <laughs> Tin fins. You and your... <laughs> No, no, an actual good death. Cephalid breakfast. Cephalid breakfast. Oh, magic. I believe you wanted me to name a deck that was not cool at all, but it would be Bant Super Friends. Yes, that was uh, where I was trying to go with this. Yes, Super Friends. All right, take us through Super Friends. All right, Custody Super Friends. Let's go. We've got Trajan. Yep. Valerian. Yep. Uh, blade Champ. And we'll give him a Veiled Blade because, you know. Gotta hit 2k points. Yeah. A Blade Champion. Okay. Then we'll go with a Shield Captain. Uh, another Shield Captain. And, you know, the third Shield Captain. Okay. And we're not done with Shield Captains yet. We've got three more Shield Captains, but these are in Alaris Terminator armor now. Yay. Okay. Uh, Still more. Still more to go on that. We've got some Shield Captains on Dawn Eagle Jet Bikes. Three of those. Okay. I'm starting to, I'm starting to see why you were calling the super friends and because we want to finish this list and actually make it playable and like super awesome let's have four custodian guards that gets us right to 2k all right and like honestly there's some decent options that you like you can take of like the stone axes the guardian spheres the shields and stuff like that. mix and match as needed so that you have some chaff killers and you have some anti-tank kind of stuff because we're super friends and uh we need to be able to win against everything do you you know what I hate the most about this list, Eric? I feel like there's a lot, so I'm not sure what's the most hated. <laughs> the fact that you put in Arc Champions, correct, but this is the list I wanted to be correct to run in Arc Champions. Right. Like, I wanted this to not be a meme so much. I mean, maybe this is a more extreme example. We could cut, like, one of each captain type down and add in a couple more basic units. But I wanted this to be, like, a way custodians could play that is very character-heavy 
and I am the main character. And it's honestly like the Avengers Assemble kind of thing. It would have been a really cool way to like have a unique way to play Custodes that no one else could do. And with how 10th edition works, maybe it could actually work with how like detachments and everything are set up. But Arc Champions just does not set you up for that. The Custodes characters are all leader based, meaning they don't work like this. There's no way to like mode change to something actually unique feeling. This is such a great idea. Like something that I would be unironically happy to see a codex come out and it's like, boom, this is supported as a wild off way you could play your army. It would actually be pretty wild to have. Like this is obviously to the extreme. There's 13 characters and four custodian guard. But like having that super low model count that are all major elite special character kind of stuff that would be cool and Oric Champions it almost felt like they were going that way or like they tried and then just didn't feel like actually committing to it. To put this another way ignoring your final four custodian guards right almost every one of these other than like the blade champs and valerian cost the same as a war dog you essentially <laughs> reinvented how chaos knights looks right now unfortunately yeah but these do not work like chaos knights do. If this was a secret alt mode I'd be pretty thrilled if you could just be like boom we're playing this game now with my custodies it would be neat i unironically would love this but uh not quite there yet <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be kind of fun to play and play against just because it's so dumb and like it's so weird, but the Auric Champions is not quite there yet. So still a meme, but you decided to take on Space Marines. Dark Angels have interesting stuff, so I'm sure you came up with a brilliant list. Let's go. We are both known for never shitting on a Space Marine chapter or <laughs> anything like that. No, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, he ain't coming back, nor does anyone care to bring him back, including Iron Hands players. <laughs> All right, then. So let's move into the Raven Guard, the other forgotten children nobody cares about. Hello, Raven Guard players, all three of you. <laughs> I mean, we've got an entire hour propaganda video about how awesome they are, so. If I can do that, I must love Space Marines. <laughs> So when tasked with coming up with a meme list for the Dark Angels, I really dug deep here. I just had to open up what their options were and I went, ah, I forgot what you guys looked like. <laughs> So, this Dark Angels list, 1970 points. We'll figure out why it's 1970. Yeah, I was like, obviously, like, you could probably get an enhancement in there and bump it up to 2K, but okay, let's see what you got. Well. Well. <laughs> maybe not. I started off with a nice named character, Lionel Johnson, Primark, newly returned. You may have heard of him. Yeah, that seems like a great start. Better start if his data sheet was better, but yeah. And then I was like, you know what I need? The Dark Angels super captain, whatever they're called, chapter master. I love space marines. So I threw Asriel in there. Fair enough. I mean, they have some great characters and, you know, can play off each other. It's going to be great. So then I was like, well, we got to be more brooding. So I added their like dark book stick thumpy man. I know dark angels lore. So I added Asmodai. Ah, yes. That's exactly where I was thinking of. Of dark brooding thumpy man yes so <laughs> we we've got our primary chaplain or whatever his special position is called okay so you've got the core characters have all met up well oh so then we've got the secret special super detachment of just the fastest guys led by Samael. So I added Samael in. Sure. I feel like we're at a lot of characters at the moment, but all right. All right. But I wanted to represent the death wing, the best of the three wings. So I added Belial. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know where this is This is at now. <laughs> and then I don't even know who these last two jackasses are. I'm pretty sure I just pulled them out of the Bible. <laughs> Lazarus came back from the dead and he's here with Ezekiel, who I'm pretty sure is Old Testament, but whatever. Apparently, uh, they are dark angels and you've got all the gang now. <laughs> 
So after throwing all of these in the list, I only had half a list left to play with. And since they're all leaders and none of them will lead the same unit together because they're assholes, I decided to fill the list out with five Deathwing Knights for Belial to lead, six Ravenwing Black Knights for Samael to lead, six Inner Circle Companions for Ezekiel to lead, six Inner Circle Companions for Lazarus to lead, <laughs> six Inner Circle Companions for Azrael to lead, and six Blade Guard Veterans for Asmodai to lead because Inner Circle Companions are secretly the Risen and Asmodai has to hunt them down so therefore we can have him go off with the Blade Guard Veterans. Also because I ran out of Inner Circle Companions I could put in this. <laughs> That's the real reason, but I like the uh, little bit of lore flair there. So, 1970 points. Yeah, could be tough to put enhancements on all of those epic heroes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have entitled this 53 Lore Books, one of which is the Holy Bible. And you called my list of custodies a war crime. <laughs> <laughs> no, I called the custodies codex a war crime. Ah, all right, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Oh, Dark Angels. Wow. This is a lot of inner circle companions. <laughs> This is why when we get to the eventual episode where we talk about which chapters are most deletable, Dark Angels are in my number one spot because we could remove half the data sheets in existence by removing Dark Angels and three other chapters have a use and aren't just, but Dark Angels do that. <laughs> oh, you're trying to remove all of these super cool epic heroes, man. It's awful. I know. My favorite one, Matthew. <laughs> And my boy Jesus. We even have Judas in here because we could be playing Luther. Well, not not in actual Dark Angels, in original Dark Angels. I don't know the Luther song from Judas Priest. Should I look this up? Is that an awesome song? Eric, we're going to do another lore episode if you don't shut the hell up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Will you let me talk about my super awesome epic fun orc list then? Yes, you can have one orc list. The other one has to wait for a future episode. Fine. Let's go with the DACA. All the DACA. Obviously, we we're going to start in Dread Mob and... We got to push the button. Absolutely. So we're going to have a big mech with shock attack gun. They know how to push buttons. Tell your crew to push the whopper button. <laughs> All right, so with the uh, Big Mac with Shock Attack gun, I wanted to make sure that we had a lot of DACA, and Mac guns with the Bubble Chucka can have a lot of DACA. Okay. Which, like, obviously it's random. That's what makes it fun. This is a good thing. This is not me being ironic. The Bubble Chucka is core to Orc identity. It is, and it's core to this list as well. So I decided to grab another Big Mac with Shock Attack gun, and another Mac guns, and third group of Mac guns as well, just because. So so we're maxed out. We've got nine of these things. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it and commit. For anyone at home, if you're building this, do not buy official <laughs> bubble chuckas. They're insanely expensive for their points. And it's like, it's orcs. So like, you can kind of do whatever you want. Don't worry about it. It'll still be cool. From there, you know, we're all about DACA and Burna Boys know how to do DACA. I would say they more do sizzle sizzle rather than DACA. I mean, sure. But like, if it's enough of a project. Projectile, that's good enough for DACA. But how about Ludas? Ludas know how to do DACA. Okay, that one's fair. I agree. And all of that, we've got dried mobs, so let's actually get to uh, the Gorkanaut. <laughs> Just all the DACA, Not man. something sane. The Gorka not. Okay. Dude, it's got the Death Storm Mega Shooter has 20 attacks with Rapid Fire 10. If anything's got a what's that button do, it's this thing. So, okay. All right. We've got the Gorka not because that is DACA incarnate as far as I'm concerned. And there's no Morka not, right? No. We're not memeing. There's no Stompa and I just give up. No, we're we're not quite at that. And honestly, the, the Morka not doesn't have that great a DACA. No, it really doesn't. I've always been a proponent for the Gorkanaut. Yeah, but, you know, we're gonna go with some Boom DACA snaz wagons because, I mean, Boom DACA. They know how to do DACA. In a snazzy way, I bet. <laughs> Absolutely. And we'll just get three of them as well because, I mean, again, if you're gonna do it, do it right. This list is pretty fun so far, but I need more things we can actually use Dread Mob on, please. All right, how about a Def Dread? Okay. And we'll equip it with the Scorchas, four of them. All right. Again, less <laughs> Daka, more Sizzle Sizzle, but okay. And you wanted more of the Dread Mobs, so let's go with some Killicans. Classic. They've got their Grotzukas. 
Okay. We now officially have fulfilled Brad's required amount of Dread Mob support. I no longer feel like this was going to turn into infantry spam after you started off with Burna Boys and Ludas. Nah, they're just there because, you know, gotta have some boys shooting. Okay. How many Killicans are we doing, though? Well, let's go with a, a group of six, and then we have just enough points for another group of three. Okay. But we had more points than this. Where are the rest? Well, we've got the Grots. Of course, because it's an Eric list. I mean... Eric, how many grots? You can't say I mean. How many grots did you put in this list? All right, fine. There's two groups of 20, not 22. (laughs) <laughs> you know, the run hurts. But you know what? If they get into shooting range, which to be fair is only 12 inches, they do shoot a lot for the amount of points that they cost, okay? If we've got a blob of 20, are the back half even in 12 inches? At, pr- probably not. I, I mean, most likely they're dead before they even get to shoot. <laughs> but like, I, you know, it's on my list, okay? Okay, let's explain why your list looks like it does. Yes, this is the DACA list. So let's assume we're playing with loaded dice and everything rolls a six if it's a D6 to shoot. Oh, we're playing... <laughs> We're playing with our buddy's Chessex dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all sixes or sometimes ones. <laughs> uh, but if we uh, make that assumption of rolling sixes on everything, you know, the bubble chucka, 2d6. Scorches are d6 each. And then you've got like the scorchas, which are d6, and the grotzuka, which is d3 plus three. So we've got a pretty good amount of those you know roll for the number of shots so let's just assume we roll sixes on everything all right how many shots do we get max roll 350 okay (laughs) okay (laughs) i didn't know how many was i understood the point of this list when i saw the list but i didn't actually know the final okay all right i'm with it 350 shots yeah don't forget your dice bucket we're not using a tray anymore it's a trough (laughs) You got to clear the top layer so you can see what the other ones under it rolled. (laughs) Basically. I mean, obviously, this is not like the most optimal DACA list. I did try to keep it like kind of thematically Dread Mob of, okay, this is doing a thing, but we're going to have shooting. So not everything's going to be in range to be able to shoot and not everything's going to be in range to have their rapid fire triggering and like you're not going to roll sixes on all of your dice. Sure. Even all of that, though, if you like includes a bunch of the re-roll hits reroll ones to hit all the you know rules that just like are baked into the sheets and like an average deployment you're looking at like 200 shots okay that's pretty fun it's honestly pretty wild how much you can get in dried mob of being just a shooty army honestly if you had a gretchen heavy collection nine mech guns was met at one point unfortunately yeah nine killicans is a believable number three snaz wagons is probably fine oh that's absolutely doable <laughs> I assume every orc player owns 44 Gretchen at this point. Probably. Yeah, this list honestly just looks completely believable that someone could be running it. I know this is meme lists, the episode, and like this is a meme list. We're clearly making choices on some of the loadouts that don't make perfect sense, but it's a playable list. Like you can definitely have fun playing this and enjoy like being able to move stuff around, shoot, and like there's still some solid combat in melee. So I actually want to play this list (laughs) as silly as it is well if you finish putting your orcs together at any point in the next 20 years yeah i don't think i have the mech guns yet on the plus side those could be printed while you finish building your snaz wagons yeah in fact they could probably be ready for our game tomorrow if i called my brother after this recording well hold on i mean i'm not gonna have the time to build all this that quickly <laughs> let's not be crazy there <laughs> you already have most of them built though right eric uh, i i i've got some killer cans built mostly this is surly post drink brad roasts eric on on air. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I mean, that's that's the list I came up with. I have another list that we'll get to at some point because I actually started looking at some of the math on points per shot for orcs. So maybe we'll get to that in the future. It's a funny ass list. We have many more meme list episodes possible just in the codices that exist already. Let's keep that one in the back pocket. It's so easy to make just fun orc lists. All right. But we have a faction left and unfortunately there's two lists left somehow (laughs) so eric and i both made a csm list we'll start with eric's because we all know what he was going to do i mean i named it emperor's children copium i think it kind of (laughs) 
sells itself right there. <laughs> um, yeah, we're we're going with the Emperor's Children Detachment. I figured like packed bound zealots, and it's it's just Max the Noise Marines. <laughs> <laughs> like, start there, and then, you know, a couple Chaos Lords with Jump Pack, and Raptors, Cultist Mobs. And Lucius, who you have to run. Obviously. And then I figured, you know, I'd toss some Chaos Rhinos in there, because, like, that is about as good as it's going to get. It's tough, because, like, all we have is Lucius and Noise Marines. But we have technically a detachment, so this is the starting point once we get our full rules, which will be soon, I'm sure. And you'll be able to get Eidolon and... And Lucius will update his sculpt. Ooh, it'll be great. But you actually put together, like, not just me wishing for Emperor's Children. You put together a list. What do you got? I got a list that is upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It made me laugh. I think there's going to be a lot of CSM players who don't laugh. So this list, we'll just walk through it real quick. So we started off and we're like, look, Vastor Warlord, right? Hey, it's a, it's a pretty unique and cool sculpt so yeah and then we've got heretic astartes demon prince with wings badass the new sculpt looks glorious absolutely then before we get further i wanted to bring in the chaos knights so i did three war dog brigands ah this is a full soup list of like okay let's get some knights going in with csm brilliant yeah vastor likes hanging out with war dogs because they're technology and he's the tech god i love it but then halfway through list building, Bellacor decided to jump in and ruin the plot line. So now Bellacor is here. <laughs> <laughs> as he does as he does and he brought with him 10 plague bearers and the spoil pox scrivener to get me just five points shy of my limit okay okay <laughs> There's not too much left for the uh, CSM section, I feel. Oh, you're right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's get back to our own HQs then. All right. Oh, I forgot. We're in the cultist detachment, so we should take a dark commune and a traitor enforcer to really round out our HQs. <laughs> Obviously, because we're in that detachment. This is Chaos Space Marines. This is what you expect a list to look like. <laughs> so then we got to add some stuff for them to lead. So let's do a, some occurrence cultists and a squad of traitor guardsmen and then four more <laughs> and we've got 50 points left so let's just put a cultist mob in i present to you chaos space marines lacking space marines also known as strictly better chaos space marines chaos this is true chaos i mean you got all of them here <laughs> vastor bellacor who the fuck is Abaddon? <laughs> yeah, we've got Vashtor, who uh, took Bellacor's role, essentially, and... Uh, then Bellacor shows up to ruin the list halfway through Vashtor's grand arrival. This is awful. This list is as bad as my pronunciation of War Dog Brigand. <laughs> <laughs> or people who try to correct us on the pronunciation of the word DACA, even though it's literally how it's said in every single book made by Games Workshop. I'll be honest, I don't even know what other way there is. I literally don't know why some people try to correct us in YouTube comments. It's DACA. It's literally that in every single book. Yeah, nothing's going to change it. It's DACA. Daka, daka, That's daka. not even me mispronouncing Brigand correctly. That's literally just how GW pronounces it. Anyway. This CSM list should never be played. <laughs> ever. It should never be like put into existence beyond this theory that we're going to immediately burn. I was very upset when I had to rely on Cultus. I really <laughs> wanted to put a Traitor Lehman Russ in here, but it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, yeah. It was going to be very funny to just play Traitor Guard featuring demons and war dogs. Yeah, that is kind of disappointing you weren't able to do it. It would be nice if Traitor Guardsmen had some more support thing, but I guess they still have enough to exist. It's funny because it's like the Imperium, 518 factions, 500 of which are space marines eldar three of your major factions share a book csm <laughs> the entire existence of traitor guard is jammed into csm's book and also we don't even talk about the dark mechanicum no obviously not not until they're sellable and then we'll talk about them a lot <laughs> yeah but i mean chaos tax yeah I, everyone but the imperium tax <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I think that rounds out a, a solid six lists of pure spite. <laughs> pure spite. 
I really enjoy episodes like this. This was extremely fun to put together. It really was. And I mean, it's one of those that we could just keep going. But at some point, it's like, all right, let's stop. <laughs> and actually record the episode we had like multiple lists in each of these factions and we're like we should probably make it an edible amount yeah so yeah join us again next time we will try to get all the other codices that have come out that we did not get into the first two episodes by the time that episode comes out there will be 17 more codices out not because they're coming out at a fast pace we just forget to follow up on episodes i mean there's just so many other things right like cereal yeah no 